Hi everyone, this is Rene from the Bass Cave. I love my Aria acoustic fretless bass. A great, stunning looking instrument. I could go on and on with praise, but as I had my first rehearsal, hang on, something's not quite right. What's wrong with that E string? When amplified, it was a lot lower in volume than the others. See this recording. E string, almost nothing there. After playing just a few bars with my bandmates and nope, that's a deal breaker. You can't play without a proper E. It went back in the bag. What could be wrong? Would I have to repair, replace the pickup? The problem with this bass, it is all cased off. No looking or feeling what's going on inside. Do I have to go through warranty? Really? I have a lot of ideas and work planned for my ARIA base, so quite a setback. I searched on the interweb and found an interesting video by Warwick. It says just fixing the white cell bit will fix uneven amplification between strings on their alien bases. This sounded like a fix that would apply to all acoustic bases and looked like a very manageable repair. I decided to give it a shot on my ARIA bass. First step, I made pencil markings to know where the strings actually were, just in case. Then take off all the strings. Little tip, always know where your bridge pins are. With all the strings removed, a good chance to clean underneath. I removed the bridge pickup plastic. It came out easily and started the sanding work on it. The actual fix is to get the surface connecting the base actually even flat and straight. A trick from the Warwick video, you can use a board with sandpaper to keep everything absolutely even and leveled. Another trick is using a pen coloring so you can see if the whole surface is sanded down evenly. I actually found a small area that stood out at the very end of the E-string. Is this the culprit? Spoiler? No. I put the strings back on. Drum roll, same result. The E-string is hardly heard. Frustrating. So the Warwick video did not fix my problem. Now I wanted to have a closer look what is happening under that plastic bone. I took the strings off again. I remembered I can use an Allen key or screwdriver to test the pick. This way I could tap my way through to where the sweet spots actually are and I found the culprit. The piezo magnets were glued on a bit too far down in one direction. This means the E string missed the sweet spot by just a smidge. I did two things. I turned the pin to an angle so the string leads to a path a bit further down over the sweet spot. And secondly, I marked the sweet spot and put in a small groove with a file so the string would not move. Technically, this is cheating and indeed a case for warranty because the piezo was not glued on where it ideally should be. A bit of a surprise with a Japanese precision product, especially when the rest of the base is absolutely spot on. Strings back on and we have a loud E string. Compare the recordings. The G string stands out a little. I imagine the bridge bone plastic is the thinnest there. The string spacing is now evenly on 18 mil. I would prefer 19 mil to be honest. Although I had to cheat a little, I have a satisfying and working outcome. In summary, I showed you two ways how to troubleshoot and fix uneven string amplification on an acoustic bass. As you saw, things are different to access and adjust in the piezo world. Very often the regular luthier can't help you with this kind of instrument because it falls into a bit of a niche. I hope this video helps you. 
like, subscribe, share, and stay tuned on the Base Cave. <laughs>